going to the adventure and put my on W four Z Y for you. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest I'm very excited about because they are going to be playing at Welcome to Rockville, and oh my God, I am so excited about it. So let's welcome to the show Carl from Fuel. How are you? What's up, man? How are you? Oh, you know what? Life is so freaking good because I'm going to a music <laughs> festival, man. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe that there's going to be live music. It blows my mind. Well, yeah, and then this lineup is insane, dude. I mean, on, it's Guns N' Roses and Corn and Kiss and Breaking Benjamin. And it's just, God, what a weekend, dude. What a weekend of music. It's amazing. So, question, because, you know, when you guys as ours, a lot of times – you don't get the ch- uh, chance to catch sets or stuff. Is there one set in particular that of somebody else that you are definitely going to catch no matter what, even if the tour bus is leaving the festival? <laughs> well, that's, that, that's the problem the tour bus is leaving. So I can fictitiously <laughs> say, I would love to see, but I can't see him because we're leaving. But uh, I will say this, man. I, a long time ago, I saw in, I think it was Columbia, South Carolina, I saw Metallica, Guns N' Roses, and it was one of the most amazing shows. So I would love to see Guns N' Roses, but I mean, you know, we're playing also sharing the stage on Thursday. It's freaking Kiss, dude. You know what I mean? It's like I, I know, right? Kiss. So it it just blows my mind. So I'm on the same same stage as Kiss, just you know, rock and roll legends and icons, but. That said, every day, pretty much on those stages here is just going to be you know rock and roll legends and icons. So it's just a fantastic bill. What a great show! And you're not going to say it, but I will. That includes fuel, okay? Because I am, I am <laughs> so freaking stoked. I think the last time I saw you guys was probably you know in a previous lifetime of mine or something. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. Well, we've been. This is a. We've been out there doing it for a long time, and it's kind of nice now to. It, it, it's a different way to do it because back in the day, you were always like worried about, you know, you're trying to get the, the next hit, and you're always worried about that. But it's a little less pressure now, and it's kind of more fun just to go out and yep. play the songs we made famous. Plus, we got a brand new record called Anomaly that is out right now that has just come out with a bunch of new songs on it as well. And it's just, it's a cool time for us. It's a cool time to go out and just play some tunes. COVID is good, but goodbye. And we can all go out and enjoy some, you know, just time together again. So we're stoked, man. We're really looking forward to it. I love it. And I want to talk about the new album. But first, I have to say one thing. You're going to laugh. I think the uh, right. we need to set up. You you mentioned Metallica. So I kind of think I, we need to set up a tour that's Metallica and Fuel. And then <laughs> when Metallica plays Fuel, you guys can get up on stage and play it with them. <laughs> give me fuel. Give me fuel. Give me five. Yeah, no, that would uh, it, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it any day you want, man. It sounds great, fantastic. Metallica, great band, obviously. It would just be that would be that'd be fun, would it? Right, you know? totally. You know, so I'm putting it out there in the universe. So, like, if you know, <laughs> Papa Het is listening, you know, he can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> and that you and everybody listening wins the lottery. Let's just let if you're going for it, let's just go for it. Everybody listening wins the lottery. Here we yeah, go. I love it. I love put it. That in, put that in the universe. So you got the new album anomaly. First of all, I just love the name of the album altogether. So I mean that right there. But I, I was listening to it, and man, you you guys have not skipped a beat. That shit is badass. Just to be blunt, okay. Oh, Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks. It was a, you know, it's an interesting, having, you know, you put out a record and you go, all right, 
this should sound like what? And part of it was me. I just said, if I wanted to hear a song on the radio, it would sound maybe like this. And you just kind of use that as my guy. Plus, it's been, a, you know, we've got a history, so you can't completely deviate from stuff that the hits that people know from the past, you know, Shimmer and Hemorrhage and some of those songs. But, you know, you, you want to progress as well. So I think I think it was pretty cool to get across what we wanted to get across with some growth, but also one foot in the past, one foot in the present kind of concept. So it was it's cool. It was a good record, man. I love Appreciate that, it. too, because, you know, the fact is, is that when you've been doing it as long as you have, I always am in awe of artists that can put out new music after that long because it's like I just think to myself, man, it's got to get harder and harder throughout the years, but sometimes it, maybe it gets easier. And it's funny, I was I was interviewing a Joe from the Vandals one time, and he's like, and we're like friendly, so he, he brought it up. He's like, and don't ask me if the Vandals are putting out new music because nobody wants to hear a 50-year-old punker writing new punk music. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? In, in some ways, too, though, it, you see a lot of cool bands. I mean, come on, Guns N' Roses and all these bands that still tour, that still do it, that people yep. still love because that music ties you to a time, either in your life, if you're older enough, to that was, you know, that you, you reminisce, but at the same time is relevant in your current life as well. And if you're coming up with your, you know, it, it, it has its own place. It's just good music, man. So you just got to go, that's great. I love that. I mean, we're like I said, we're with Kiss. I mean, Kiss has been around since the beginning of time, it feels like. But you still love to see it. You still love to hear it. And it's fantastic. And so we're just, you know, that, 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 it, it's cool that that is still going around and that, you know, people still listen to that stuff and get the same, you know, it's just good music. And that's what we like. No doubt. And, you know, it's funny talking of Kiss. So... The first record album I ever owned in my life, I won. <laughs> All right. I won it at the Boardwalk in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, down the shore, and yeah. and it was like I played the game because I had these albums up there. But I saw this one album, like, and this is how we picked music back then, as you know. It just looked so freaking cool, and it's so a good album cover, right? <laughs> and it was the original Kiss album when it first came out. Nice, nice, right? Right. Yeah, it was, it, yeah it's cool. It's, uh, but you see that right there, right? You know, you've got ties to your past. That that nostalgia works for you as well. And then you know, you got new people coming up listening to new music and discovering it every day. So it's great that it's still around. We're still going. It's all good, you know. Yeah, and then you know, bands like you coming out with new music like this, I kind of relate it. I'm going to bring up a Metallica again. I kind of relate your new album akin to Metallica's newest album, and I'll tell you why. Because I was at the first Metallica show ever in L.A., okay? Oh, so, wow. So I'm wow. definitely a kill em all ride the lightning Metallica person, okay? Wow. And when they came out with Hardwired and I heard that song, I'm like, oh, my God, it's kill em all. It's, it's fight fire with fire. It, it's – and – to after all those years to like evolve but also include your roots it, right. that's just badass and that's the way I look at your new album is it's like you include your roots but it's got that new feel for it so you're all excited and nostalgia but you can also jam to it because it's today love it dude that's that's and that's kind of what that's the way I felt about it as well. I wanted to, like you said, one foot in the past, one foot in the present. I wanted to honor what we have done before. And, you know, and, and, and then the new stuff gives you that, you know, you you know the band, but you hear some new material, and which is exactly what you want. But this album, to me, dude, is really interesting as well because a lot of my influences as a writer and as a musician and as a, just a fan came through. I mean, you hear, you know, you hear, I hear, I'll listen to back, and I was going, wow, that sounds kind of like The Fix. Or that sounds like Zeppelin, or that sounds like even, I mean Duran Duran even, and some of there's, I've got, this is a lot of the, the gamut. It's almost like this record became like an homage, an homage to all my music growing up and all the people that I admire growing up. And so it was, it's a fun project for me as well. So and that's cool, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you, it's a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and it's 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 great. You know what I love too? Okay, okay. So you mentioned you know, Duran Duran as an example. And yeah. so nowadays we have this trend going on where people are blending, you know, artists are blending genres, whereas 
you know, the, the day that I'm from, and, and probably you too, is like you had to be like a genre Nazi. Like, it, it, you know, I remember being yeah. in L.A. and it's like if you like Metallica, you can't like Motley yeah. Crue. That's that's bad. And you definitely couldn't like Duran Duran at all. I know. All and, right, so as a kid, that's, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You know, it's like, but now it's like, you know, it's funny. I was interviewing Josie Cotton re- recently, and I'm like, you know, when I was, when you were really popular in the 80s, I wasn't allowed to like you. So I'm glad I'm <laughs> interviewing you now because well, I secretly did. <laughs> well, that's 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 kind of how, that's uh, what even what I just said, Duran Duran, I was, you, you kind of go, I hope, you know, you don't get crucified for that. But, it, <laughs> but I, and I know exactly what you're talking about because back in, you know, back in the day, like you said, you couldn't kind of, you could admit you liked other bands. But, you know, The Fix were doing amazing things. Duran right. Duran doing amazing things those records are amazing and i of course i mixed this i mixed anomaly as a song as a mixer as a producer those records are phenomenal level stuff but at the same time that doesn't mean i don't like you know i didn't like tesla mechanical resonance or i didn't like metallica ride the lightning i liked all that stuff i like things if they're done well you gotta go that's great you know what i mean like i appreciate things that are done well and so yeah you're kind of, it's kind of funny though you're right man you couldn't you know you couldn't wear the Duran Duran T-shirt to school. You know? No. <laughs> You'd be like, ah, <laughs> exactly. my will kill me. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. You know, it's so funny but, we're talking about stuff. this. Because last night I was getting my hair done for Rockville. and that, I know that sounds weird, but I have blue hair. So, <laughs> you know, I had to get the blue redone. Get my hair did. <laughs> yep. So the girl that's doing it, like I'm close friends with her, but she she basically knows me as a metalhead and punker, and uh, yeah. and and I'm like I'm gonna tell you something right now, like y- you're gonna be in shock, but like I'm gonna play some music for you that are some guilty pleasures of mine, and they're like it's right, right what we're talking about, like I played her Adam and the Ants from Kings of the Wild Frontier, and and it's like right. I remember my bro who who is in a band now today but we were like best bros back then and you know we were metalheads right. and he was listening to Adam and the Ants <laughs> and he was hiding it from me and I found his album one time at his house I'm like what the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> and, he's like dude uh, it, it's uh, not yeah. mine it's my sister's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. well it was that kind of way it's funny I've got you know you, you hear people play stuff for you now like Oh, dude, you probably didn't hear that back in the day because I was just ravenous for music, especially growing up. And I loved everything. And I had an older brother who turned me on to a lot of cool stuff as well. But yeah, but you know, I loved Rat. You know what I mean? Like I throw on Rat and love it. But I, you know, you'd like there's something about that song I really like. If it was from you know, The Fix or Duran Duran or yeah. just a lot of that new, that lot of that second wave of British Invasion stuff. You know, you kind of go. That's cool. I like that song. You know what I mean? It's got that is funny. Back in the day, it was kind of like your badge. Yeah. You like you had to like you had to like metal, and that was it. And secretly, everybody was kind of like, yeah, but that, that, what they're doing to that? That's just shit. That's just good. You know what I mean? Like, no doubt. That's good. I like it. But, no yeah, doubt. Funny. And so that's what's cool about an artist like you that's been doing it for a long time because you you understand just like I do. Okay. So my viewpoint now is, boy, was I an idiot. Like that was just stupid, know. you know. <laughs> well, but I, but I still okay. But having said all that, you know, you you put on Judas Priest, and I'm going to hurt myself. You know what I mean? Right, like right. it's just a, something. You know, you put on a rat. You know, put rats. You know, out of the cellar, and you put you know any of that stuff, and it just makes that that you know I, that's the stuff I reach for the volume now for as well. So. That's you know it, it. Everything had its place in my world. Now you kind of go, well, that's cool. And I, today I feel like this, so it's got that. That's great. Okay, <laughs> so I have a funny one that's gonna make you laugh about rats. So you know, like in that whole height of all that, I lived at basically at the Sunset Strip. So I used to hang out backstage with Rat all the time. You poser, hair metal, fucking blah blah <laughs> blah. But then, okay, ready? So then. If I brought a girl over my house when I was like 15, 16 or whatever, I would put on Sweet Cheater on to so I could get laid. <laughs> <laughs> it was your it was your magic song, right? You just play that and something happens, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there it is. <laughs> you go to. I it is something I tell you. If it's funny, we used to, back in the day 
we would throw on, you know, you're just having a bus party or whatever. And, you know, you, you throw on like, yeah, like a rat song and some of that stuff. And I'm telling you, even, dare I say it, we're going to get even worse, but winger, you throw on a <laughs> winger, like winger. Oh, they, you know, they became the, the, the whipping boy when they came on Beavis and Butthead. Right. But I'm telling you, the, the girls always liked winger. It was hilarious. And I was just like, I'm going to, I'm going to play winger. Watch what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, let's call it what it is. If you were smart back then, you were into that stuff because all the girls liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is a, there is a bit of a, ulterior motive wasn't it yeah no doubt so let's talk about after welcome to rockville i know you got some other shows coming up let's talk about that a little bit yeah we dude we're out playing we got a bunch of shows lined up doing coming back to pennsylvania where we started doing a penn speak show like on the 21st i can't remember dates right off the top of my head but stuff like that but then we got a line of shows coming up we've got ever playing a show in dallas at a festival in dallas we got some shows coming up with Bush and Seether. We're doing we're doing some shows with those guys who you know other bands who've been around doing it a long time and doing it very well. I'm excited about that. Three Doors Down. We're doing some shows with, and yeah, we got a great new lineup. We got a great new record, and we are we're stoked, man. Just get out there and, and do these songs again. Play some new music. Play some of the all the old hits, and just and do it. I'm stoked too. And wa- wow, what a tour! Seether, Bush, and you guys like that's. To me, that's pretty ultimate. That, be, uh, that would be cool. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to that too because I think that that's right. Great songs from all those bands, and uh, that yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. That'll I, be fun. I love it. So tell everybody, you know, most people should know, but some people may not. Tell them how they can connect you on social media, on the web, how they can get your merch, get the new album, check out tour dates, all that good stuff. Yeah, you got it, man. It's Fuel Official on Facebook. We're on. Fuel Official on Instagram is Fuel Official Music, so go there, follow, subscribe, share, do all that stuff, because that stuff's important. I know it's, it's, it's redundant and everybody says it, but that it actually really is important. So make sure you follow us and do all that. Keep abreast of what's happening, what's going on, what we're doing, what we got happening. So that, that's cool stuff. I think you're pretty smart that you're on TikTok, but I'm laughing to myself thinking, you know... <laughs> When, when you first started, if somebody told you you'd be doing TikToks, <laughs> how it's, you would react? It, dude, it is what it it is what it is, right? It's like it's it's kind of different for me as well. I mean, I think it's really different for me as well. I mean, we're not on there doing dances; we're doing songs. <laughs> but <laughs> it is it is the way it is, right, man? It's social media rules, and you know, people make you know the Instagram model that the girls that make you know. Ten twenty thousand dollars a month, you just go, wow! I mean, it's right? some amazing stuff. So it's got a, it's it's it, it's got a lot of reach. It's got a lot of impact, and it is the way that the way of the day. So, oh, I mean, I've seen some artists on there that would never back in the day ever be yeah. noticed at all. That like blow up on there. There was one band, the singer like kind of looks a little like Jack Black and kind of sings a little like Jack Black. And so he kept calling Jack Black out in his TikToks, and then finally Jack Black actually (laughs) duetted them. You know, it's like, wow. And then, you know, Juris Johnson, who I interviewed uh, last year, like it's amazing what he's done on TikTok because he took, you know, songs and like revived them. And like I couldn't believe like Bring Me to Horizon became the like largest trending, you know, song on TikTok because of Juris Johnson. It's like. It just blows my mind. It's like today's version of tape trading. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it it it's it's pretty crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you can have your whole, you know, you can have a whole life on there. You know what I mean? That is, it, it it's the way it goes, man. So that it, it's kind of good at, at, as far as music as well. Like you said, like you got guys who otherwise might not have a chance of ever being heard. Now you you have an avenue to do that, and uh, it. It's, it's cool. It's got its pluses and minuses, of course, but it's uh, it's fantastic. It is what it, like I said, it is, it's the way of the day, so that's what you do. And you being on there just proves that fuel is just as relevant in 2022 as, as you've ever been because you're doing what today's music is doing and doing it very well and the great new music. I can't wait to see you at Welcome to Rockville and, you know, people got to catch you at all your other tour dates. Is there any final words you want to leave the listeners with that we haven't covered already? Uh, we just got, you know, it's you pretty much covered it. But, yeah, go to Fuel Official Music on Facebook. You'll find out where we're playing, what's happening, what's happening to the band. We're, we're you know, posting all the time. And 
Because, you know, we got a brand new record called Anomaly. Go check the Anomaly out and see what you got. If you're an older, you know, if you're a fan from the past, I think you'll love the record. If you're a brand new fan, you go check it out and see what you think. We're stoked, man. We got some great shows. I mean, I'm sharing the stage with Kiss. Right. You know, in Daytona. It's, uh, come on. And, then, you know, festivals and dates, we're, we're out there doing it. And uh, we're having a great time with and playing some great music and just loving it, man. Yeah, that playing on the same stage as Kiss, it doesn't get more bucket list than that. Right? What are you going to say, right? What, what am I going to say? Like, I remember back in the day, though, you didn't want to open for Kiss. No. Because they <laughs> threw stuff They threw stuff at you all your, all your show. Because I remember <laughs> bands going, dude, we opened for Kiss, and it was just they were just throwing stuff. Because all they want to see is Kiss, you know yeah, what I mean? Totally. So all the people were just throwing stuff at them all day long, and it was nuts. But, you know, it, that's, that we're not direct opening, direct support like those bands used to have to do back in the day. So it's great. But, uh, yeah, Kiss, come on. It's freaking Kiss. And, you know, like, again, the rest of this weekend, Guns N' Roses, Smashing Pumpkins, Jane's Addiction. It's just it's, it's, it's a great oh, festival, man. I, I can't festival. wait. Can't wait. And I'll tell you what. I mean, if you're an old fan of Fuel, I'm an old fan of Fuel. You need to get this new album because... You know, a lot of times when you're an old fan, you just want to hear the old stuff. I'm telling you, this new stuff is just as, if not more badass than Fuel's ever been. So get the album. Check out the tour dates. Thanks for giving us great music, and thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Frank it. What's up? This is Carl Bell from Fuel. You're listening to The Pipe Man on W4CY. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.